Welcome back, it's me, Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review, and today we are returning to the world of Batman Beyond as we look at one of his major villains, Shriek Unmasked. Alright, so this is part of uh, McFarlane's DC Multiverse line of action figures. Um, it's cool, it's Shriek. Um, the one thing that worries me about this figure is that they're already quick to tell us this is Shriek Unmasked. So that means if we haven't gotten it by now, at some point in the future, they're going to give us the eventual uh, repaint or retool with Shriek featuring the helmet. Um, personally, I would have loved it that if they gave us an alternate head, but much like most of the McFarlane toys, that's never the case. Um, I, as much as I love McFarlane toys, I love their figures. I've, I'm a lifelong fan of everything they've done. But I do feel <laughs> that they, 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 they kind of play a little bit dirty in that, you know, they'll give us a cool figure, but then like a few months later, they'll color swap it or they'll give it like a, a different head, usually an unmasked head. And then we're kind of forced, not that we're forced to buy it, but you know what I'm saying? Um, in the age of like Star Wars Black Series, uh, WWE Elite, Marvel Legends, those other toy lines, they're brilliant at giving us options and lots of accessories. Uh, so it's not an uncommon for those lines to give us multiple heads, whereas for the McFarlane stuff, you know, they never give us head swaps. So we just have to deal with this and the eventual re-release of the figure, you know, with the helmet. But looking past it, I think this is a great looking figure. Uh, beautiful sculpt from what I'm seeing through the window. I love that he comes with his effects. Yeah, uh, overall it's looking nice. Um, some other figures in this wave, or at least that are currently out, uh, we have uh, Metal Wonder Woman, uh, Metal Superman, um, we have um, the Robin King, um, uh, we have Metal Batman, this is the one that comes with the guitar and I believe the Build-A-Figure piece, and then we have the Hellbat armor, uh, but I think this is the repaint, that might be the gold one. All right, so I got this through Amazon. It was on sale like a few days ago. It was like one of those weird flash sales. It was like for only like nine bucks, but the sale was only either like only a couple of hours and the following day was almost priced back to normal. But when I got it in the mail, it was all like all ripped up. So that's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, always keep a lookout on Amazon. They always have great deals on some of the McFarlane figures, especially the stuff that just kind of sits there. Alright, so we have Shriek here, um, loving the effects, and underneath he comes with his trading card and his fig stand. Alright, this is looking great, let's get this guy out.
All right, so we have Shriek. Um, it's a very tight looking figure. And when I mean tight, it's just very clean. Um, I like his look. It's very unique. Um, and if you're wondering what this is, this book is almost 22 years old. This is the Batman Beyond Files. It's awesome. I love this. It's a great companion to the animated Batman Beyond series. So if you're a fan of the Batman Beyond series from way back in the day, hunt down this book. It's awesome. Um, the page layout, it's very eye-catching. It's very unique. It kind of reminds me of Chip Kid's um, Batman book, if you're familiar with that. And it, it, it's awesome. It covers the world of Batman Beyond. And somewhere in here is a, a, sh a page dedicated to Shriek. Yeah, here it is. So, Shriek. So there's a nice bio on the character here. And this is kind of how he looks in the animated series. All right, it looks nice. So the figure does a good job of taking this look and kind of, you know, not necessarily like changing it completely, but this kind of updating it, especially for like, um, you know, for for real like three dimensional figure form and something that the modern collector would be like impressed with. And then here, um, here's Shriek. He kind of comes with this, like, it's kind of like a vibrational effect as a result of his powers. And over here, you could kind of tell that, you know, there's no clean way of recreating this, like, vibrational sound effect. So, but I think McFarlane does a good job of at least giving us this disc. So it kind of gives us the impression that, you know, that his powers are in use. And I think he's just simply to slide the fingers. So there's holes notched out on this disc and then you, you kind of match up the fingers and place it in. Um, I'm not sure if, if one's specific for a, s a certain hand, maybe. Let me see if I could get that in here real quick to demonstrate. All right, it's not really happening. Um, uh, his fingers are kind of, but you kind of get the point. So you take the fingers and you try to like thread them through those holes. And then he's kind of holding this and it kind of recreates his vibrational sound effect. Uh, but let's put this accessory aside and look at the figure itself. Um, the one thing that really catches my eye is that even though I would have loved this figure to be helmeted, to have his mask on, um, the sculpt they give us for his head is really impressive. It's it's a nice, like, realistic look for the character um, because, you know, the cartoon, it's very, you know, it's just that. It's, it's an animated cartoon, so it's very exaggerated. It's very stylized. So it's kind of cool to get a very realistic portrayal of the character. I still would have preferred the helmet, though, especially with the look of this costume. It looks, it looks so complete. It's just missing his helmet. And I, this figure is, like, it's so underrated. I've seen this at the store so many times. It was clearanced on Amazon, but the armor, I just love it so much. It's, it, it's really sci-fi looking. Um, I love like the, the really large palm, uh, with the, it's almost kind of like similar to like, um, Tony Stark's like, uh, uh, what, what do you call, what are they called again? He kind of has, it's like, it's not the arc reactor, but he kind of has those like repulsors in his palms. You know, this kind of reminds me of that. But, you know, this guy, he kind of like this shoots out vibrational sound. But I love the look of this armor. It's really clean. Um, the white is really eye-catching. And what surprises, what surprises me even more is that I love the way that they make use of like the soft rubbery plastic for his um, upper shoulders. Because you would think that it would hinder his movement in terms of his art articulation. But as soon as you start to handle them, you can see that a lot of his poses... They're not affected by this armor since it's so soft in the way it it kind of just like conforms to his body. So you're not really limited in his posing. So this really, really surprises me. 
So yeah, very impressed with this figure. This really took me by surprise. I didn't think I'd like the figure this much, but now that I'm handling it, it it's awesome. I just really wish they just gave us, you know, the, the Shriek character with the full helmet. Like, it's nice to see his face, but, you know, if, if you want the full effect of the character, he really needs his helmet. Uh, this effect here is nice. It's just a little bit difficult to get into the, um, you know, to get the fingers through these little holes. But it's pretty cool. Um, Articulation-wise, this, articulation this guy's head um, rotates. He can look down that much. Um, he can look up pretty high. That's awesome. So if you want to, if you're into like fig photography, if you want to get this guy in a nice jumping or leaping or flying pose, you could. Um, he swivels at the waist, and he can arch really far back. He could crunch forward about this much. Really impressed with the articulation, especially considering this guy is covered like in body armor. You know, you wouldn't think that his arms were capable of moving like they do. But yeah, it's awesome. Lots of range of uh, movement. Um, he has a bicep cut. Uh, <clears throat> double pinned elbows. Um, his wrists are articulated also. Yeah, this I'm really impressed with this figure. I didn't think I'd like this as much as I, as I would. I actually like this even more than Batman Beyond, to be honest. Um, his legs can kick out this much. It's pretty high. They can kick out. Double jointed knees, as you can see right there. Um, ankle articulation. He has toe articulation as well. Very, very impressive. Solid effort by McFarlane Toys. Um, I like this figure a lot. I'm tempted to get another one just for customs. Um, it's really, really unique. So if you're a fan of the Batman Beyond cartoon way back in the day, you know, I definitely do think you'd need this figure um, to round out your Batman Beyond collection. It's nice that they're giving us characters from Batman Beyond, um, like Shriek. I think they've given us Blight. Um, they haven't given us any Jokers yet. It'd be cool if they gave us, um, you know, some of the more, you know, non-superhero characters like... If they gave us Old Man Bruce Wayne, that'd be awesome. Um, who are some of the other characters I'd like to see? Yeah, it'd be cool if they gave us the Jokers. You know, if they gave us all the different versions of the Jokers. Uh, Spellbinder would be a cool figure to get. Same with... They, oh, they've given us um, her already. Um, if you'll remember, she's the... Batman Beyond repaint in the blue. Um, Commissioner Gordon. It'd be cool to get Barbara. I would love if they gave us a Mr. Freeze. I'm calling it out right now, but I have a feeling that if they retool this guy or repaint him, they, they could easily make this into Mr. Freeze. You know, give us the dome helmet. Uh, swap out the hands. Uh, maybe give him new boots and a belt. But I think it'd be it'd be very doable to convert this into uh, Mr. Freeze. Um, I'd love to see a, a Dana figure, to be honest. Um, mostly because the actress who voices her is also the same voice actress that does, I think, Connie from King of the Hill. And I'm a big, I'm a big huge King of the Hill fan. So I don't believe we've gotten a Shriek figure even way back in the day. So here's a... Um, I'm not sure if this is complete or not. This is from Toy Fair Magazine. They did a small feature on Batman Beyond. And they, and as a freebie in one of the magazines, they give us this little kind of like cool mini uh, mini Batman Beyond book. And they kind of spotlighted some of the different figures in the line. And I don't remember us getting a shriek back in the day. I remember it being impossible to get a, a, like a normal looking Batman Beyond that was all black. You know, they give us all the different weird versions of the costumes, but just getting a plain black Batman Beyond figure was, like, impossible. But, yeah, I don't believe there was a Shriek figure way back when. Alright, so, um, let's wrap this video up. Um, do I recommend this figure? Yes. Um, I, I rate this figure very high. For me, this figure is a 9. 
a plain solid nine. Um, it captures the look of the character while you know slightly modernizing it. You know with the cool like uh, panel cuts and designs and patterns and textures throughout his uniform. Um, it retains that like graceful uh, contour line of his upper body armor, especially when it comes out down to like his forearms. I love how they come out to this like bulb effect, and then he has these oversized palms. Um, the the energy effect is like his uh, vibrational effect here. It's it's all right. Um, I can't see them. I couldn't have seen another way they could have done this. Uh, but I do miss the helmet. You know, hopefully it's not something they over, they overlooked, and that you know, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that in the near future we do get the helmeted head. Uh, I like this figure enough that I'd be willing to pay you know for another one with the helmet. Yeah, overall, great, solid figure. Great effort from McFarlane Toys. Um, very underrated also. So, All right, so with that being said, once again, my name is Lou. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer subscriber, thank you so much for your continued likes, comments, and support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I will talk to you later.